Spider's Web. And in this video we're going to continue with our Mansions of Madness minis and we're going to be doing the cultists. Now we have different cultists. We have these ones here. Da -da 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 -da. And we have, there are six of those and there's two like this. Now these are the cult leaders. These two. Okay. So they're not just cultists, they're cult leaders. And <clears throat> I'm not going to be doing those yet. <clears throat> I want to concentrate on the, uh, the cultists themselves. So, when it comes down to the cultists, what I've done is I've basically primed them black. Then at like a 45 degree angle, I've gone all, I've just a very quick dusting of a grey primer. And then right from the top, an incredibly quick dusting of white. It hardly shows on some of them, but uh, others it shows quite well. That it shows well on. And it's just to add a little bit of uh, shadows and stuff like that to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these aside. And this is the guy we're going to be working on today. Okay. So as per usual, it's all the same mod miniature, um, just um, posed slightly different. So, what colours we're going to be using? Well, with him being a cultist, I don't want a very dark skin tone. So we're going to be using something quite pale. Um, so we're going to start off with Rack Earth Flesh for his skin tone. For his robes, again I don't want anything incredibly dark. Um, so I'm going to go with a mix of, when I can find it, um, no it's not that one, where are we? Okay, here we are. Screaming Skull and Scrag Brown. And that's going to be the robe. This I'm going to do as um, a wooden handle with a metal thing on the top. So that's going to be obviously something like dryad bark and tin bits. And then we have the gold chain around his neck. Um, but as you can see there's little um, lines in this um, so this part is going to be the mix of the scrag brown and the cream this part this panel here is going to be scrag brown um, straight scrag brown in fact yeah it will be straight scrag brown that middle panel let's get the brush out and I can pinpoint exactly what I'm looking at here Um, I'll get my brushes out. I've really got prepared for this. <clears throat> Not to worry. Okay, so meaning this area here is going to be the scrag brown. It comes down to the front there as well. This area is going to be the mix of scrag brown and um, Screaming Skull and the little lines that I'm going to do with just Screaming Skull around the edges. Now one thing I have forgotten to do is get some water so I'm going to have to do that now. Um, so uh, bear with me a second.
Okay, so I'm back. I've got my water. I'm just going to give my brush a little bit of a, a rinse out to get on the soap that's on it off because I always, when I finished using these brushes, um, I use the Masters Brush Restorer and Soap on them so I don't. Oops, I'm wrecking the place. What have I done? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Knock something over, that's all. Okay, so what I need to do is, is I give this brush a rinse out and we're away. So I'll leave my um, paper towel on the arm of my chair here and we'll get on with finding the colours that we want to use. Okay, so first off we're going to be using the Scrag Brown. Well, when I say using, I mean um, adding to the palette. So we'll add that to the palette. We need quite a bit of that. there's going to be quite a few of the um, what do you call it? There's going to be quite a few of the uh, courses to do, and then we'll add some of the um, screaming skull. Okay, we need quite a bit of that. There we are. Obviously if we need any more we can always come back and put some more up, so that's not a problem. There we are. And then we want some of the Rack Earth Flesh. There's not a great deal of this to be done, or to use, but I still want to add quite a bit to it. Okay, so that's that done. Now, I'm going to start off with the Rack Earth Flesh, and the um, brush I want to use for this is... Um, when I can find it. I'm going to use a number one of my Rosemary Co brushes. I'm going to use my number one brush. Rinse it off because I say I've used it and uh, added the um, Masters stuff on there. So we'll bring it to a nice point and we'll go into our Rack Earth Flesh. And we will just paint on here exactly where is flesh tone. There will be, you know, in this case there is a beard and a moustache. There isn't always, but in this case there is. So we're going to be, we'll just go over that all together. Every bit of the face will be done. And then when we come back to highlights, there's also a bit of hair at the top there that we're going to be adding as well. And just in case you're wondering, it's bonfire night here, and we have the fireworks going off. So I'm going to add 
Another quick rinse out because there's still there's not a very good point on my brush I'm afraid. That's better. And I will run once again through the through the Rekha flesh to do his arms and hands, well wrists and hands. There we go. Again, I'm not really fussed about all the mold lines on these models. They're not brilliant. If you want them to be a little more cleaner then fair enough. But I'm just not worried about it to be honest because so they're just gaming figures. For me they're not going to be put anywhere so they're on display or anything. They're just going to be dumped in a box and taken out of the box when I want to play and then dumped back in the box again. I'm hoping I get everything on camera. There we go. And that's one arm done. And now the second one. And again, it's just a case of getting a little bit of paint on the brush and just going over the area that needs painting. Like this. And that is it for the skin tone. I don't think there's any more I can do. I'm saying that I just think just because usually I have a habit of missing things. Which I don't think I have done this time. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're going to be mixing in the scrap brown with the um, screaming skull. So we'll take some of the scrap brown, pop it to one side, and add screaming skull. And we want a very, very pale colour. Something about if I'm going to add a little bit of the Rakath flesh just to take off the orangey look to it, and something about like that is what we're looking for a little paler. And there we are, that's it. So we will wash all the paint off our brush and once again we'll go back to our in fact we'll not do the number one brush we'll do, use our number two brush because of a bit of this on here so it's our number two rosemary and coal brush and we'll add and we'll add and we'll get I will give it a bit of a wash. <coughs> Go into the car we've just mixed and paint.
Okay, so that is the main part, of the main rope done. Um, what we're going to be doing next is um, we'll do the centre, not the middle panel of the robe, which, as I said, we're going to use, or we're going to do in uh, scrag brown. So let's uh, wet our brush a little bit. We're going to be going back to our number one brush, a little bit of the scrag brown. And we'll just go over and we'll do this belt as well in this colour. do at the moment for that. Next what I would like to do is the staff that he's got in his hand, the wand or whatever you want to call it. And for that we're going to be using Dryad Burke which is that colour. And I'm going to just pop some of this onto our palette because we've got another tub because this is rapidly running out yep oops just splashed everywhere And we'll get our brush into the dry head back and just gently down this wand type of thing. The as I said, the design at the top is going to be metal. I don't know whether this is right, but this is how I'm doing it. And if people don't like it, tough it's my model. And I'm also going to go over the um, hem. of the rope down here with this colour as well in fact the shoes down there as well the footwear so I'll use that in this as well just to save a little time 
And I'm not going overboard, as I said time and time again on these models, I'm not going overboard with them. Because they're not that good quality minis. But they do really nicely for the game. And that's all that matters. Oops. I've got off camera with that. There we go. So that's that bit. And next what I want to do is using a much finer detail brush. Um, what number is that one? Two zero, this is the zero I think, yes. We'll use that one. And we'll go over, go down the, the lines there with just straight. Um, screaming skull. Which is where having a steady hand is an advantage and unfortunately something I'm not blessed with. So I think what might have been an idea is if I'd have done this first. I'm going to have painted everything up to that rather than painting this bit last after everything else has been done. We want our metallic colours, and these we're just going to do straight out of the tubs. We're not going to bother faffing about with anything. Um, so what I need first off is um, a base colour, and this base colour we're going to be using is Retributor Armour, which is this colour. Now we're going to use this on the pendant that he has here. And it's just a case of picking out the, the high points. We're going to be going over and watch calling it. Um, highlighting later on as you should know by now and we'll go over this as well just like so and there we are that is the base coat done for this fella so what needs to be done now? Well, a wash, obviously. And the wash for this is going to be a very easy one to do. It's just going to be a straight wash. 
of Agrax Earthshade all over. Um, nothing fancy, nothing clever, that will do fine. So, once we've made sure that everywhere that can be, or that could be wet, is dried. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do before I do anything else is just go over part of the, some more of the flesh tone on his face because I've gone over it with his, uh, the colour of the robe. I want the flesh tone to be sort of like a, the colour that it should be. Um, there we go. I think that is it, which has slightly dist the, um, distracted us, but. Not for too long. So we have, once we've done this one, we have five more of these little bladers to go. That's still a touch wet. Um, nothing much we can do on that, I'm afraid. What we can do is just nip onto another one and just go over certain parts. Just so we can give first one time to dry. So here we will do, we won't do that one yet, we'll do what I said we should have done with the robes in the first place using the screaming skull. We can go over these lines. Now I'm trying to stay, I'm still trying to stay in the lines but I'm not too fussed at the moment if I go out of them. I just want them, shall we say, coloured in. And it's going to work out easier doing this than it is trying to go back afterwards, as you saw. Trying to do a line like this after everything else has been painted can be a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for, demoralising. Um, especially when you get to the situation where you've almost finished, you've got the last little note to do and all of a sudden you sneeze or you knock your, you knock your arm and then... Um, <laughs> you get it right across your paintwork. So you're better off doing something fancy before you do the base coat. And uh, speaking of base coats, let's do the middle part of this now. Um, it was, yes it was the Scrag Brown. And as you can see now I can go, just go to the edge of this and it's much easier and you get a much cleaner edge than you would if you'd have done this the other way around.
looking for ways of improving my channel as well now because um, I'm getting towards the end of the year and I want to make some changes um, the main change I've got is I'm going to or what I'm going to start doing it I've got a different opening um, for the channel and I'm also planning on using different music for the different series so I have one piece of music for the painting videos another piece of music for the Q&A another piece of music for the Chatterbrew and a Big Black Dog and then if I'm doing any gameplay videos they will want, they want have their own individual music rather than um, having um, the same piece of music for everything See, what you, let me know what you think of that idea if you think it's uh, worthwhile doing or whether you think I should just leave it as is I'm happy to go either way to be honest if you think it's uh, it doesn't need doing and uh, you're happy with how, it's, how it is so far then let me know or if you'd like to see the different series I do um, have their own I want to say music again let me know that as well um, obviously I'm not going to be doing a different music for it, different um, subject matter for the paintings for me or one for the model paintings um, but I'll do a different music for um, my artwork than I would for the um, <coughs> for the miniatures I think that's it for yes it is okay so um, I can put that to one side for a second and then come back to this and get the wash done so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of things I can try for the uh, new year to try and make the um, channel a little better but uh, give me a feedback let me know what you'd like or let me know if you like the ideas of what I've decided to do. Um, hope you do. So, as I said, everything is getting a wash of Agrax Earthshade. And I'm just going to the... and get it from there because there's not much left in the lid now. And we'll just cover it all over with this wash. And then keep an eye on it, try not to let it pool up too much on, in any flat areas don't usually have that problem with it doing that but sometimes it happens and uh, it can spoil your paintwork if it does happen um, not that I'm really fussed too much about these as I keep saying but um, I don't want it I want to be able to see detail I don't want to see a splodge of wash. Okay, I think that's it. <clears throat> um, so that's all for this video. Until next time, we will finish this guy off. As always, take care. God bless and bye for now.